Okay, a lovely Monday morning, August the 14th, halfway through August. Look at this lovely summer we're having here. Um, it's not wet, it's not rainy, it's not windy, it's not humid. It's a perfect, nice, sunny day, and I can't wait to uh, get a suntan today. <clears throat> Strange new uh, fake charities, I'd say, raising money, stopping people. Guy in the white shirt here, lady in the white shirt down there, speaking to the granny. Again, they've got these. Why do people stop them? Hello, how's it going? What's what are you guys uh, selling? Right in future, it's about vulnerable kids and kids with disabilities. Is it a registered charity? No, no, no. Oh, it's a private company. It's private. Oh, I think that's scammy, mate. I don't like it. It it's makes me uncomfortable. Makes me very uncomfortable you seeing. Are aware, then, if you are aware, then, yeah. You would know that you have to be. You have to start up as a as a company. To yeah. Go into as a charity or something. No, you don't. Yeah, you do. What you're saying? You have to be a private making limited no. company to be a charity. Is that what you're saying? I don't know for well because I don't know the gist of everything. But this is what I've been told by my hand. All right. So you've backtracked a bit. So you you sing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what I've been told. All right. But, yeah, but uh, did you do that? Do, do photography for time? Oh no, I'm, I'm here to question you guys, not the other way around. Um, you're not like worry that people think you're scamming. No, because ours is literally legit. Like, we actually have to Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh well, no worries. What's but, your name, by the way? That's all right, I want to stay anonymous. My name's Charlie. Charlie. In fact, who the hell am I to be anonymous? Charlie Veach. You can look me up online. What do you do specifically? I, I make videos. Like yeah. TikToks or? Oh no, real videos. YouTube. Not, yeah, re yeah, YouTube, real videos. Yeah. Good so man. Like Bloody hell, am I getting interviewed here? No, um, but anyway, carry on guys. Um, I wouldn't do it myself, but I know that you guys are, it's not personal against you. So, uh, good luck. Take care. Sometimes I feel a bit bad telling off the workers for some social enterprise, money-making, pretend charity who is there just to rake in the profits and uh, make certain people rich. I do feel bad speaking to the underlings, but Anyway, you got to speak to someone. So instead of erecting some beautiful, true work of art, not, not modern art, we've got some more telescreens. The telescreen's got to be repaired to pump out more advertising. So you're like, I, I will keep looking ahead so I don't see the shop advertising on either side. And then they're like, no, F you. Look at this telescreen, Winston. Winston Smith, that's... Uh, 1984 reference, George Orwell, in case you're like saying Winston. When your jumper is quite deep and it says center screen, alone but not lonely. Who am I to judge? I've just had a double cheeseburger from McDonald's. Reminds me of that scene in uh, The Simpsons where Homer is uh, going through his inventor phase and he invents a makeup gun and Marge Simpson accidentally shoots herself in the face and she's very heavily made up and Homer goes, Marge, you had the makeup gun set to whore. I love how Jeff Bezos makes them pedal. Probably, probably for the licensing they can get to more city center places, but <laughs> they just look funny. Bloody hell, this, uh, whatever this is, it gave me Asperger's. My God. I feel like eating beige foods and snacking and doing repetitive chores. Bloody hell, is, is, this, is this a joke? Is it a Puma advert? Is it a joke? He doesn't find it funny, look at him. Inside the Arndale shopping mall, the big news in business, in retail business, shall we say, is Wilco. Wilco has gone into administration. Wilco is going bust. And you might wonder why everyone goes to Wilco. Even I go into Wilco about once every 10 days for some household item. Bad management, no modernization, um, uninterested staff, uh, no, no measures to prevent shoplifting. I bet these barriers don't even work. I've never seen them beep. And the shoplifters, they learn. They learn that Wilco is the home of family thieving. And then they go. Canon cameras all round, look, bullet effect, the Matrix, the Matrix! All right, oh God, my goodness. Here's the old Wellington with a, a sleeping bag, gentlemen. I think that bridge is getting sandblasted. 
<laughs> Here's one of these really hardcore ping pong tables, like a prison yard one with a... Oh yeah, solid. Mm-hmm. A bit fancy what they've done with this Q Park car park. It's a bit uh, a bit big. But they've kept some of the original stonework where they could. Where they should. So they could. And we come round. And there you go. This is what I want to show you guys. I look towards the Grey Friars, Blue Friars, Green Friars, I forget. But yeah, colors are looking good, even on a cloudy day. I think the officer's gone into Sainsbury's. Best I could do, guys. Not allowed. Not allowed. Oh, he's coming back. I've screwed it. Hey. How's it going? All right. Oh, good. I've got I've got a parking ticket for you. Wait. All right. Wait. Here we go. Wait. 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 And it says, can, I don't know if you can read it from where you are. Can you read that? Say it really loud. <laughs> okay. Not getting off. Not allowed. <laughs> Take care. Take care. Why? do human beings drink alcohol and consume other narcotics? Because the vastness of uh, mortality is as equally scary as the vastness of eternity. Whether the atheists or the theists are right, it's equally scary. Who here remembers when Selfridges put spikes along the uh, bench there? and then they tried to fob it off as anti-homeless spikes, but uh, those of us in the know know it was a Selfridges & Co. It's a very, you know, upper, upper class department store, and the spikes along here was to stop people sitting down and smoking, but uh, I think it is Smokers 1, Selfridges Spikes 0. Right, there's a lady in the taxi. I think she's got something to say to me. Right, go on, let him pass, Warren. Come on, speak it up, come on. Hey guys, hey, thank you. Cheers. Hey Warren, watch out Warren, careful. They wouldn't dare with you. You're the you're the granddaddy of Manchester. 85 years this You're the top G, top granddad. All this year. 85 this year. And I can't feel the coffin yet, the wood. And I'm here for another day. That's it, he's not felt the wood on the sides with his elbows. Elbows it every morning. Yeah. I can't feel the wood. Another day, it's a bonus. And Warren, can I ask you, when I go into politics in 10 years at the age of 53, will you be my 95 year old advisor? Oh, it would absolutely be a pleasure. Nice one. And we'll, we'll, we'll get Downing Street by the time you're 100. It'll we'll do it. It will be a pleasure. I look pleasure. forward to it. Always a nice conversation with Warren, the octogenarian. And one thing I really like about Warren, he's very open with his opinion and he's quite correct. And one thing I really respect about him is his visceral hatred of corruption. And he's 85, he's worked for unions, labor parties, he's done inquiries, he's done corruption inquiries. And that man hates corruption more than I hate chicken liver and rice. Straight ahead we have the BBC getting set up, they've got a big microphone ready, cameraman was filming the pigeons. So true story, the BBC cameraman, hey Charlie I love your video, can I have a selfie? And we got chatting, he's a really nice guy, we'll call him Mr. I, was a nice guy. So directly ahead, I don't know if you can see it, two police women, not PCSOs, actual real police women, if you're allowed to uh, say that their gender is real without getting arrested, are you allowed to? They're walking with intent. They're both short, 
and I'm using my long legs and I'm struggling to keep up. Let's see, let's see. There must be summit. Summit at the summit. <laughs> you have to be careful when you unironically start using things like in it and summit. <laughs> the guy laughed at me walking past. He knows. Charlie. Yeah, right, mate, all good. All, right. all good, thank you. Right, we'll start filming again if anything happens. All right, don't know if you can see it. We've got the police helicopter now circling above. Maybe you can hear it. Loud boy. And the reason it makes those bangs is that the tip of the, uh, the tip of the blades break the speed of sound and it creates a small sonic boom. Tiger uppercut. We're just opposite the town hall, which is covered up for another year or two. Nice. And uh, there's a lot of police walking that way. We're gonna do the same. But before we do, I just wanna show you guys a quick look into uh, GCHQ, Government Central Communications Headquarters, Northern Office. Let's see. I kid you not, this is it, GCHQ, Manchester. And it's a nice tour guide, he's got a good voice explaining the uh, suffragettes movement. He's saying that after World War I, there was a lot of dead men, so women outnumbered men, and they were scared about giving women the vote in case they voted for some funny things. And that was the big worry back in the 1919, 1920. Where are the women going to... Wait, am I getting my dates right? She was probably not... Anyway, whatever the year was, I'm sure I got it wrong. High five, Emmeline. Oh, classic case of you're not a tram blasting through St. Peter's. Is he going to come this way? No, all you got was a distant siren. You're going to have to take my word for it. Okay, using my super advanced uh, Power Ranger, uh, Jungle Boy, Biscuit Belly, Brillo Boy, powers of triangulation. I've assessed that the police helicopter is hovering over the Lowry Hotel and the Crown Court. So that's where we're going. And just like the police operation in Walkden last night, the police are gone. Hola, como estas? Where are you from? Brazil. 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 Não acredito. E vocês não são brasileiros, não. não. Minha mãe é brasileira, eu falo. Yeah, eu nasci no Rio de Janeiro. Yeah. Estão aqui estudando, trabalhando. O jogo. O jogo. Ah, que legal. Então, divirtam se Ok. Olha, eu faço vídeos para YouTube. Um, eu tenho 300 mil um, followers. Quero dar uma, uma mensagem para o Brasil. Alguma coisa. Vamos lá. Está valendo aí? Tá indo, pode ir. Estamos com é não, pô, fala não. Charles, Charles Vitch. Yeah. Tamo junto. Bora, Charles, aqui é diretamente do Brasil. Estamos ligados ligado aí no canal, viu? É nóis. Obrigado, Brasil, gente. Inglaterra, tamo junto. É tá nóis. ótimo. Abraço. Tchau, tchau. Guys, I shit you not. I shit not, guys. I've just heard a fighter jet pass over Manchester. I, I couldn't see it. It's way too cloudy, but uh, WTF is going on. In my excitement of G4S, man, I forgot that there was a big jewelers here. Prime corner unit, it says. They packed up and left quietly in the night. And I've just missed the shot of the armored G4S man taking the money and the jewels into the back of the van. Can't believe I missed the money shot. It's okay, I'm just organizing a bank robbery for tonight. It's not, nothing against you guys. Only joking, YouTube censors, only joking. Oh, he's a jewelry man. Okay, up ahead we got Manchester Victoria. Now the helicopter, Citycopter 1, is hovering over the back of Manchester Victoria Station. We'll get there, it's like chasing a rainbow. The rainbow is a result of the uh, diffraction of light and the perceiver using an optical eyeball. And the rainbow does not have a standalone geographic position. The rainbow will move as you chase it, as will the Manchester helicopter today. Oh, shit. I'm filming, okay. <laughs> I, I did a little singing of Evita, Don't Cry For Me Argentina, as a guy reversed into me and I missed it. So now we're just gonna 
we'll uh, we'll film down here. We'll film down here. Let me just let me just cover up the wind noise for you guys a bit. What we got? What we got? What are these people? Oh, yeah. Now the question is, do you guys bother God the right way? Are you proper God botherers or bad God botherers? Good bo God botherers? Yeah. Oh, so probably good God botherers. There you go. Oh, here we go. It's back. Soy un perdedor. I'm a loser, baby. I like the aesthetic. Okay, perceptive viewers may have noticed that I was doing the whole God botherer chat because the two travel safe officers, they're just civilians, but they're security for train stations and trams and so forth. I wanted to see if I could bait them because authoritarianism, it's, uh, oh, it's tempting. Oh, the temptations of authority. 40 days and 40 nights in Victoria Station. But what you're looking at now is the Metrolink tram area of... Uh, Manchester, Victoria, and without all the metal detectors and police grabbing people for travel fraud, it's not as exciting, so we'll, we'll go this way. Look at that. There they are. This is Charlie Veach. I am the undercover anti-dodgy things in the bag. Now, that is either Semtex, C4, or it's uh, ready salted crisps in a Ziploc bag, but give it a squeeze just to make sure it's not C4. Yeah, that doesn't sound like C4. Very traditional ticket office here at Victoria. Very old school. The time is 10 past three. If school were in, school would be out. Oh, hi. Woman's saying I'm not allowed to film. What? I can't hear you, sorry. Oh, she's not in charge, it's all right. No, you're not in charge, you're not in charge. Just ignore her. <laughs> Oh, that triggered her. <laughs> A very orthodox group up ahead. World, God made the world in six days, and on the seventh, he looked at it and he said, yep, that is good. God was arrogant. God was full of himself, and quite rightly so. He had every right to be. Creating the entire universe and all of sentience in six days. Anyway, uh... Uh, the reason I mentioned that, a big group of Orthodox Jews in the Old Testament, God looked at the world and said that it was good. So you can say that Judaism is an optimistic religion, as is Christianity. It's good. Love. Good. And uh, what else do the Jews uh, believe in? Go forth and procreate. That's why my old boss, uh, Orthodox Jewish bloke, had 10 kids. 10 kids. It's a good start, Samuel. It's a good start, mate. I want 20 out of you. Well, that's good to know. Where are we? We're at the Manchester Arena, where in 2017 the Libyan boys did the old backpack against the 22 people and uh, chatting to Warren about it, my 85-year-old friend and confidant and uh, he exposed, well he says he was involved in some of the inquiries exposing the failures of the response which may or may not have led to further death Let's go and have a look over there, and then we'll go up the steps. I'll teach you guys a trick. When the bee's in there, you close them up, and then the bee gets really mad. Wait. Don't sting me, bro. He's angry. He's very mad. Should we release him? Oh, and he's off. <laughs> okay, it's the corner of Victoria Station. And behind me, Cheatham School of Music. The back of Cheatham's, and I'm like, uh, there's a pathway down there. I've never walked under there, under the rusty bridge. Well, you can see someone walking across now. And there's a reason why I'm, I'm like, yeah, yeah, we'll just open it. In. And of course, it's, uh, yeah, not allowed. <laughs> that moment when you realize the anti-car rammings of peace barriers I mean, I look at that and I think solid stainless steel that will stop a heavily laden truck. But it's, it's not. It's a skinny little thing, look. It's a skinny little pole. It's an illusion. Don't tell the terrorists.
Football. Football. On the last day of civilization, when everything else has been looted, the bookstores will remain fine because thieves don't read and readers don't steal. Oh God, the sky is getting a bit scary. It's going to rain heavily again. I can feel it. Manchester's top Irish bar, Mulligans of Manchester. Bloody hell, the sky is getting fiercer and fiercer and with enough luck it's going to go green and the bus right on my shoulder is going to blast past giving me a big yellow... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll try that one again. Here we go, here's a shot I wanted. <laughs> getting a bit dark for uh, the 14th of August. There's a British summer for you. It's, uh, it's very subtropical. If it was a few degrees warmer, it would be just like the Amazon rainforest. On a good day, everything here is shiny, 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 like the briefcase in Pulp Fiction. Like that, see this building here? It says Affinity Living, instead of Infinity, it would be much better. But on a, on a nice, on a nice sunny day, the brilliant silver reflecting the sun against the blue sky, it looks good, but today it just looks shit. It looks about as shit as that Disney Plus Star Wars cartoon. Beautiful. Very handsome. Looking good. Get a wide angle shot. Oh, don't stop, Mr. Noise. An endless row of Seal of Solomons. <laughs> but anyway, uh... There's a few memes online, you'll find that some security measures, they give you a little thing to put your foot on, you know, then you climb up and uh, that's not going to stop your, your uh, crack hungry junkie who needs to score. He needs a new Dell, um, <laughs> a Dell 17 inch monitor, he can pawn that for a bag of crack. No problem, offices are not safe. All the government wages, HM government, New Bailey. The government wages don't say anything to the cameraman. They know. They know. That's a nice uh, dystopian buzzing above my eh -uh. Enjoy the eh -uh. Okay, well, it's raining. That is the news. It's raining very heavily. You may see some flashing blue and red lights up ahead. Or maybe not yet, we'll get a bit closer. I think someone's been pulled over. I actually initially thought it was a plain, plain police car undercover being followed by their Peugeot 306, 308. But it turns out it's not that. Maybe you can see the blue lights now. Maybe. Nice reflection on the street. Now, uh, pavements are a thing of the past. We'll just uh, make our way across. Wearing the old Gore-Tex Merrells. Bit of Gore-Tex. Oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I bet the officers wish they had an umbrella now. <laughs> Bloody hell, it's monsooning. Oh, it looks far too friendly. Hey guys, you alright? Oh, I can't believe it's all over. They're not getting arrested or anything. Oh, no, hey guys, you alright? Enjoy, you need an umbrella, guys. Yeah, see you there. I have seen and experienced things that you people would never be able to comprehend. I have traveled to faraway galaxies. I have kicked crackheads in every major city. And all of it, when they bring in the new internet censorship, will be lost like muddy pavement water down the drain. 
That's not my bus. Shitty number eight. Who wants to go to Bolton via Salford? Okay, that's kind of the route I take, but you know what I mean. So, uh, guys, it's a uh, knotted brick government building. How much did the architect get paid for that? Now, give us a wave, boys. Go on, give us a wave. Don't leave me hanging. This is a small wave. It's a very. <laughs> And that is a goodbye from them and from me from Manchester. All the best.